welcome back guys Ark Survival Ascended has officially launched for the Steam platform and as late as it was I was actually able to dive into the game and put about two and a half hours in and I can tell you that throughout my entire play experience you can tell the game is still very much in early access and it still needs a ton of optimizations so in today's video I want to talk about the Steam minimum and recommended specs for players computers in order for them to dive in and play Ark Survival Ascended and then secondly here I want to dive a little bit deeper into the settings in the game to hopefully help you guys have a more smoother gameplay experience while not sacrificing too much gameplay so starting us off taking a look at the minimum required specs for your system for arc survival ascended according to the steam page they talk about you need windows 10 and 11 with updates as far as processor they have a minimum of amd ryzen 5 2600x or the intel core i7 6800 they additionally recommend a minimum of 16 gigabytes of ram for graphics card we have amd radeon rx 5600 xt or the nvidia geforce 1080 not only that they recommend direct x version 12 70 gigabytes of available space and they talk about a recommendation or at least a necessary when it comes for solid state drive now as for the recommended specs for steam they do mention once again windows 10 or windows 11 with updates the processor they recommend amd ryzen 5 3600x or the intel i5 10,600 we have the memory at 32 gigs of RAM which is huge we've got the graphics card is recommending at an AMD Radeon RX 6800 or an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 which again is really hefty for recommendation here we have the direct X version 12 we have obviously 70 gigabytes of available space for storage and then obviously a solid state drive is required once again now the recommended specs in my opinion should just be shifted right over to the minimum required specs because even running these recommended specs that they talk about like although yes you can absolutely load the game you're still not going to be running anything on ultra settings and you probably might not even have hardly any settings in the high category and you're probably going to need to be dropping it down to medium quality in order for you to efficiently play the game now i understand that the minimum specs may relate to after they do better optimization on the game um either way i just know that a lot of people look at these minimum specs before they even dive in or even try out the game most people aren't going to buy it if their system doesn't even meet the minimum or the recommended specs so i definitely think it's important that those correlate over to what the current state of the game is if you want people obviously to dive in it and play it and not have a negative experience by experiencing really really bad optimization but nevertheless i want to go ahead and offer some additional settings and adjustments that you guys can change in the game to hopefully increase your overall experience and not sacrifice too much on the graphic side of things Alrighty, so now when it comes to the overall settings inside of the game there's a couple of really big hitters that i want to talk about that you could adjust that will increase and boost your performance so starting things off if we head over here to just the standard video settings it's we're going to take a look at the graphic presets right so now naturally this might be set automatically by the stats or you know the uh, hardware you have on your machine the game might automatically do it for me mine says custom because i have went through and actually made some adjustments so starting off the top the very first one i would honestly start recommending people to just click on either high or medium and then see how the game plays from there the game might already start off on there and if you are experiencing some some really wonky you know textures or screen tearing that kind of stuff i would then start to take a look at some of the other ones so the very first one we have the advanced graphics which for me as you can see even with the 4070 tioc and 32 gigabytes of ram i'm not even running this bad boy on high which is really really sad that just shows you that the optimization is definitely not there for arc survival ascended yet but i got it currently running on medium i am going to be um recording this video at 60 frames at 1080p just like i do all my other videos and i also am streaming at that exact same quality so i do find that this works best at least for recording we've got the medium settings here i went ahead and turned off the view distance down to low which again is going to be a, a different gaming experience because you're not going to be able to see quite as far um, until you get right up onto something but i did see or notice that this made a massive difference in the overall quality um, when it came to performance and how the game functioned. now another really big one is going to be the textures now for me i obviously really want that texture experience so i did leave it here on high and just sacrifice something else like view distance or some other settings that i'll talk about in a second you might need to turn this down either down to medium or low according to your
your, you know, your performance on your machine, or you could turn it up all the way up to epic if that is something uh, that you can support. And now the next big hitter here is going to be the general shadows and the global illumination. Now the lighting and the shadows do take a lot of toll when it comes to your hardware on your machine and the quality of the game. You could change and adjust your shadows here down from low, medium, high, or epic. For me, I'm running on medium because again, I do like the textures and the shadows, so I don't want to sacrifice those too much. And then for the global illumination, I really absolutely love um, the quality of the lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on epic and it is working for me. Once again, you might need to adjust this a little bit lower and play around with it, whatever you have set up for your computer um, that works best. But anyways, the next big thing I went ahead and turned off, well, one, I, I capped my frames right, frame rate here at 60, but I went ahead and turned off the motion blur. The next one you could turn off that also adds um, a pretty good chunk of, of performance and that's going to be the foliage and fluid interaction. Again, this was a setting that I did not want to sacrifice because I was really looking forward to this to Unreal Engine 5, but that is something to keep in mind um, if you are having issues. And then now diving into the RTX settings, these are going to be really big hitters when it comes to your overall performance. You can see here underneath super resolution for me by default, it was set to balanced. And I definitely think that it is worth coming in here and changing it from balance to either performance or ultra performance. Now, ultra performance for me did drop the, the graphics really, really uh, quite lower than what I currently have them set to now. And I didn't really like that. So I went ahead and bumped it up one to performance. And that's where I'm currently sitting. Now, additionally here, some cards will support NVIDIA DLSS. Obviously, you can play with this, see if your card does support it, turn it on and off to get a better idea of exactly um, what your performance is going to look like. But overall, that's going to be some really quick down and dirty settings that you guys can adjust to hopefully increase your overall performance and allow your gameplay experience to be more optimal. Now, obviously, this isn't all of the settings that you could adjust. I really recommend loading into maybe like a single player world just to start off with to get a feel for the graphics and how your machine is going to handle it and then obviously make additional adjustments there. Not only that, guys, keep in mind that Arc Survival Ascended is still very much in early access and within the first 24 hours of the game officially launching. I'm not making excuses here for a wild card and the quality of the game. I'm just speaking from, you know, other games and also from something like Arc Survival Evolved where we had tons and tons of optimization issues when the game officially launched. So to be honest, I'm not quite surprised here for Arc Survival Ascended. But overall, guys, hopefully these settings help you out. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Arc Survival Ascended related. And also do not forget, I am running a giveaway for a free copy of Arc Survival Ascended on the Steam platform. If you guys are interested in checking that out, don't forget to utilize the link down below in the pinned comment to enter for a chance to win. With that being said, though, guys, as always, have a wonderful day and I will see you all on the next one.